Okay, so hi everyone. I'm Stephanie. I'm super happy to be here. And I've been working with Rails for the past four years. And like recently I've been working with Rails APIs. And my I want to tell you a story. So I have a friend, he's called Chiri Anagoni, and he's an ethics and philosophy professor, and he can't make a decision about anything. And then <laughs> He came to me and he said, hey, Stephanie, I'm thinking of building an API. Do you think I should go with the Rails API only mode? And then I said, actually, then he said, if I just look for authentication, I find a bunch of different recommendations. And it is really confusing. And then I said, well, Chidi, I also feel that frustration. So let me see if I can help you. It will depend. Do you know if your client, and that could be a single page application, a mobile native app, or even another Rails application, render all the HTML pages? And do you know if your client will create all the interface that your end users will see? And then will your Rails API have this only responsibility to serve the JSON resources so that the client figures its way to show it to the user. If you answer yes to any of to three of these questions, then yes, it might be a good choice for you because that's actually why the Rails API was built for. And then he was like, okay, so how does that look like? Well, you get no views, no helpers, no assets, no new and edit actions on your controllers because that's usually where the user inputs data. And then because the Rails APIs are stateless, you won't get the browser's user sessions and cookies management. And then he also wanted to see the, the structure. And then I said, well, you can see that it's a lighter version of the a regular full stack Rails app. For example, you don't get the assets, you don't get the helpers, you do get the views, but it's only for the mailer templates. Another thing that is important to see is that the controllers will only render JSON. And then Chidi, of course, can't make a decision on anything. And then he was like, okay, but what if I make the decision with the Rails API only, and I figure out midways that I actually need more stuff. And then I said, Chidi, don't worry about it because Rails is really, um, customized, you can also put all the things back. And the most important is you can learn from this experience. We will learn a lot about Rails configurations. And then, of course, Chidi couldn't make a decision. But you, my friend, if you're thinking about building your Rails API and you don't know if you should go with the Rails API only mode, I hope you got some ideas on what to consider. So you don't have to be like Chidi. Um, by the way, all the characters are from the good place. <laughs> um, and has Chidi also is feeling this frustration myself. I also felt that way. So I decided to put all of these basic things like in a cheat sheet and, um, you can get that on this URL along with the slides and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you everyone for the opportunity and that's me.